Brooklyn Independent Television. The environment. This term has come to be tied up with politics, global climate change, the loss of natural habitats, and a whole host of other issues. But let's not forget that the environment has a huge impact on our health. In Brooklyn, as much as anywhere. It's likely the people most affected will be our young people and their children. HealthBeat's Fred Brown found an organization that's trying to make things safer and healthier starting now. Look closely at this beautiful mural painted on the bus and you'll see the story of UPROSE, which stands for United Puerto Rican Organization of Sunset Park. And for Executive Director Elizabeth Jean-Pierre, who's been on the front lines of the environmental justice movement for the past 13 years as the organization's executive director, it's all about passing the torch to the youth of Sunset Park to make the connection between their health, the environment, and justice. When, when I first came to Uprose in 96, um, we had about three or four young people who walked in and said, what do you do, do here? And I, I remember saying, I'm the facilitator of your dreams. What do you want to do? And so they came in with more young people. I trained them to be organizers. They became an integral part of the organization. And it was at that point that out of respect for their leadership and what they committed to this organization, that the organization became intergenerational. How could it not? Well, how I see it uh -huh. is actually, it's the picture showing you about the power plants. And you see how the, 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 um, the pollution is going up is actually affecting us you know even the air that we breathe and like you see thousand you see the trucks there and cars there too it's actually more trucks is actually affecting us too my role at uprose i'm the youth organizing coordinator and so i work with young people to make that connection between their health um, and the environment and, and social justice and, and environmental issues. The Gowanus Expressway has 120,000 cars uh, that, that, drive, that drive past it, that drive on it daily. And so what that means is that this high school is receiving all of the air that, that is coming off of the, uh, off of the cars, that, that all, of the, all of the emissions that come out of the cars, like they're breathing in all of that air. Anywhere in the country where you find communities of color, you're gonna find that our communities are suffering from asthma, upper respiratory disease, cancer, diabetes, that our girls are developing at a much earlier age, at the ages of eight and nine, because they're exposed to these toxins at a very early age. How do we make sure that our residents are involved in planning, in environmental remediation, in reclaiming their spaces, and in also developing climate adaptation and community resilience plans so that we don't end up having another New Orleans in our hands? For Jean Pierre, that means fighting every day to make sure that the residents of Sunset Park have some of the same environmental amenities as its neighboring affluent community of Park Slope. For her, the eco disparities are clear. They have parks, they have trees, uh, and they also uh, are not the host to all of the infrastructure that actually services their community. So while they're getting the energy, they're not the host to the power plants. While they have sewage, uh, services, they're not the host to the sludge treatment plants or the waste transfer stations. And unlike other communities, we don't get to go away to Connecticut for the weekend. <laughs> we don't get to go away to these open spaces. Anybody can come. It's free. I caught up with Mo, a 23-year-old resident of Sunset Park who serves on the board of directors at Uprose. He was telling me about the EJ, or environmental justice tours, and how he got started with the organization. If you're coming from a neighborhood like this, where you see that your community is lacking with what other communities have, such as the, our adjacent community, where there's trees on every block and there's, you know, the streets are clean, you can breathe better, and you're like, why is that not possible in my neighborhood? you're gonna start thinking, where can I go to help my neighborhood out? Uppost is a place to do that. You know, because when you get older, like about 65 or 67, it's gonna really affect you. You're gonna have like cancer, you know, 
you know, God forbid, if you have, you know, in their age, they're going to have cancer and they're going to have asthma and it's going to be crazy. We've been pushing so that 4th Avenue is, the traffic is slowed down, so we put some greenery through the middle uh, because it is not only that it's a health threat, but there have been a lot of fatalities along 4th Avenue and, and under the Gowanus Expressway. We've also, we're also part of the Gowanus Stakeholders Coalition, and so we have been pushing for a tunnel alternative. And that's something that the entire corridor has agreed on. It's something that we've been working on for over 10 years, fighting for this tunnel alternative. And I mean, for you, you've been on the front lines now, let's say for 13 years of yeah. your life. I mean, how have you changed um, in terms of the way you view your neighborhood and your world? As a person, I've changed because it's made me more responsible. Like I wanna be there for not just myself, but for my community because if I'm not gonna speak up, who else is? So we're not environmentalists, you know. Um, we don't we don't want to get trees because they look cool and because they green up the neighborhood and they're hot. We want trees because they scrub up the environment and they make it easier for our communities to breathe deeply. And young Pierre hopes that residents of Sunset Park will be able to take a deep breath as long as they remain in the trenches for future generations. For Healthbeat Brooklyn, I'm Fred Brown. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.